So it's the morning of May 17th, 1999. My teammates and I are going for the summit of Everest that morning, and about halfway through the yellow band, gaining the crest of the Northeast Ridge, I literally tripped over a piece of metal sticking out of the climbing route and uh, really surprised me. And I made a mental note of it, and later on that day on the descent, I went back to that same spot, grabbed the piece of metal, and yanked really hard, and out popped this perfectly preserved Porter's pack frame. Uh, well, it turned out that was the 1933 high camp, and if you look at the last photo taken from 1933, you'll see that very same pack frame uh, looking out the door of the tent, and just an amazing find. I was fortunate enough to be able to get back to the 33 high camp in the spring of 2001 with my friend Brent Okita, and we found some incredible artifacts as we excavated that entire camp, and uh, yeah, here's some clips from 2001 that tell you more about it. He came upon another discovery um, in the actual gullies, and that was of the 1933 uh, British camp. Which is pretty fascinating, a lot of neat artifacts coming out of there. Amazing what canned goods they carried up, ginger and and uh, a lot of stuff, and even, even nibbled on a cracker that was up there from 1933. You it ate tasted a cracker pretty from good. 1933? Yeah, and it actually tasted pretty good. It was a little bit stale, but after 68 years, what can you expect? But... Incredible. I think our tent poles are heavy. Try 1924 ones. Wow. That's what. That's what. Yeah. No. The camp was there. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, what the hell? God, it's warm down here. Yeah. My nipples rise. See? That's probably more than this. Like a, a 1933 biscuit. Oh, definitely a superior reading biscuit. You've got like 10 different languages on the back. Reading biscuits. Yeah. You're supposed to like eat them while you're reading. <laughs> Transantarctic expedition. They've had to 1914 to 1917. Ernest Shackleton. Wow. Wow. That's from whatever Kendall Mint Cakes. Yeah. And he authorized it. On Everest expeditions 1922 and 24. Oh, really? I didn't even see yeah. Yeah, it's just all the endorsements. That's great. That's a piece of that's class. So I couldn't figure out what the hell this was. It's interesting. We found a lot. Yeah. What what day Fendi is? This is a mint cake. And yeah. smell. That's what. This is the mint cake that the label came off of. If you smell it. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then up until uh, 2019, I remained, as far as I know, as the only person who was brave enough or perhaps dumb enough to eat crackers out of the 1933 high camp. Uh, but then I was able to con my friend Sid Pattison in the spring of 2019 when we were up there into uh, joining the club, the 1933 Biscuit Eating Club. Uh, so watch Sid here having at it. All right, Sid, tell me what you're about to do. Well, here we're uh, revisiting the 1933 high camp of Smythe and Shipton. Uh, it's been cool to kind of go through and see what their day to day was like. You can uh, tell a little bit. They spent two nights here and left a remarkable amount of trash under the sleeping bag, which is where our modern day trash ends up as well, so it's good to know, but we found uh, some little bits of, little bits of biscuit here, um, and kind of the spirit of kind of doing as they did, let's see what it tastes like. Tastes old. The flavor's still there. Nice. 
Kind of tastes like taking a bite of my grandma's chair or something. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. You're now in the club yeah. of eating antiquities. Yeah, 1933 biscuit eating. Good work. <laughs> this is the remains of the camp. Old sleeping bag. One of the first down used up here.